Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please raise your hand if you are a working mother, if you are uh, someone who lives independently or someone who really doesn't have much time in your pocket before you start your office and you always tend to feel like you don't look presentable for the work. I have this kind of no foundation makeup look for you, especially for the summertime because uh, summer is the time when the skin needs extra attention and needs something, you know, it needs to breathe properly and which is why we really need to keep our makeup minimal but we have to make sure the minimum makeup look also uh, you know very beautiful and something to make us uh, look presentable for any kind of you know meeting situations or anything and which is why I present this makeup look which is really utterly utterly simple to achieve and also something which is great for you know any kind of business meeting or presentations or you know any kind of interviews or just a simple work day so if you guys want to know how I achieve this look then just please keep on watching so shall we begin all right so to start with since it's the summertime I really would like to apply some eyes on my face because it just you know tightens up your pore and also gives a very you know refreshing kind of feel to the face so it's a great idea to apply some eyes before you actually start your makeup Okay, so let's start. Since it's a no foundation makeup look, we really need a good primer underneath because it will just help to create a very, you know, smooth base. So I'm using this particular primer. This is by Smashbox. I really love this particular one because it has a very uh, silicone effect and which is why it's great to have a good, you know, surface. Alright, so it's time to apply some of the concealer and some eye brightener. I have a couple of concealers with me. Uh, I really like to use these two concealer. This is basically a, a brightener by Sephora and this is my go-to essence concealer. It's really good. But one point to be noted, if you have some kind of, you know, oily skin or something, I really suggest that you first apply a little bit of compact or translucent powder or something just to lock the entire moisture inside and your primer and everything it helps to give a uh, you know long lasting makeup effect and I'm using this particular one this is by Sephora just you don't need much but you just you know just apply it on all over your face now it's time to conceal these under eye circle areas and some of the blemishes uh, I like to use this one first uh, and I use it with the uh, you know combination of with the combination of one of the concealer now I would like to mix this essence concealer as well Sorry guys, this concealer is over. We need to use something else. Let me get something. I'm planning to use this particular one. This is also a good uh, concealer for everyday use. And let's just blend out everything. And let's just lock everything with again some translucent powder. I'm using this. This is again by Sephora. Yeah, this is the powder I'm using. And just... my base is ready as you saw we just use some concealer and that's all and if you are blessed with a very flawless skin you don't have much of the spots on your face you really don't need this much product also uh, for this kind of no makeup makeup look and uh, the face is not feeling cakey or heavy at all because we have used a very minimum amount of the product on the face so and uh, now let's just apply some of the colors on the face for example like your blusher your bronzer and a little bit of something so that you don't look very uh, 
uh, pale but before going for that we just need a little bit amount of eyeshadow if you would like to if you don't want to you can totally skip this one uh, I'm using this particular palette this is by Tarte uh, it's called Tease palette and uh, I just need a tiny bit wash of the color on my eyes I'm using this particular shade it's called first kiss and uh, uh, I'm not going for any kind of you know crease color or anything else I'm just applying a tiny bit on my entire eyelid just to give a little color that's it it's a very neutral color and it does not look like you have applied something but definitely gives a little definition to your eyes I'm taking this kind of uh, slanting brush and taking the same shade from the palette and applying a little bit on my waterline just to give a little definition to the eyes it's a great way of uh, you know ditching your kajal or your eyeliner on the waterline okay that's all I need now it's time to uh, define my eyebrows and uh, I'm using this particular gel by Essence it's really really good I highly recommend this particular one let's just comb my eyebrows first now taking this kind of brush this is Anastasia uh, number one five this is how the color looks like it's in shade brown 01 and it's a very natural looking shade something great for the Indian you know eyebrows and voila my eyebrows are done now since we are done with the most basic things now it's time to apply some of the blusher and before we actually get into the blusher it's time to apply a little bit of bronzer since it's like the summer time and a little bit of tan effect looks really beautiful this is by Marks and Spencer and I absolutely love this particular one I'm taking the same fluffy brush taking very tiny bit amount of the shade and just going you know a little bit you don't need to go really heavy with the contouring on a daily basis because obviously it takes much more time and not something very practical also on a day basis so just take this kind of fluffy brush apply some bronzer and just you know just apply it on the hollow of your cheek something like this so that it just gives a very uh, little amount of the uh, bronzing effect and also does look good now for my blusher I'm taking this palette by elf it's in shade light I love this palette this is basically I think a dupe of Bobbi Brown blusher palettes and it comes with these kind of shades I'll go a little peachy because uh, uh, Peach is something really, uh, you know, it really complements the Indian skin tone and looks great in the spring and summertime. So just need a tiny bit amount of the color. And mind you, this palette is really, really, really pigmented. So you really need to go very light handed when you are actually applying it. So yes, I'm done with my blusher also. This is the exact amount of color I really need on my skin on a daily basis. I really don't like going overboard with the blusher, especially uh, when I'm out for my work. It does not look so flaunting, honestly. So just keep it in mind that you actually go really light handed. Now the next step is really optional. If you love highlighter, there's no harm in applying some of the color on your cheekbones and on your brow. Uh, you know high points of your face uh, but you need to you know wisely choose your uh, highlighter for the daytime I really trust this particular highlighter this is again by Marks and Spencer autograph range it looks so blingy in the pen but when you actually start applying it it looks very 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 you know natural looking kind of highlighter so 
I'm just applying a very little bit amount of the highlighter and last but not the least I need to apply my mascara which I almost forgot and I love using this particular one this is again by Marks and Spencer this is called their never ending lashes it's a very you know um, it has a very thin bristles but it does an amazing job in keeping your eyes you know in uh, opening up your lashes separating them and gives a very awakened kind of you know effect to your lashes as you see it gives a very instant length you know long lash effect I absolutely love it. It does not feel, you know, clumsy and it does not feel very thick also on the eyebrows, which is great for the everyday kind of mascara. And lastly, we are left with my lips and I really like to go very neutral and uh, just but before I actually want to apply my uh, lipstick, I want to apply some of the eye uh, some of the lip liner on my lips and this is the makeup forever lip aqua it's in shade 2c and it's a very beautiful neutral kind of you know color now to fill up my lips i'm using this nyx matte lip cream it's in shade Prague and it's a beautiful very nice everyday kind of pink shade just go a little light-handed uh, if you don't need a lot of color on your lips like me and yes I'm ready for my work if you are a beginner and you don't know how to do your everyday kind of makeup look this is something really great to start with and also it's very good and you know something very skin friendly for the summertime because the skin really doesn't need anything which is very 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 heavy duty and this is my kind of go-to makeup look especially for the summertime I don't like applying foundation at all so that was all for the day give this video a big thumbs up guys if you love watching this video and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel in case you haven't done already and i shall see you soon in my next video till then you guys take care and bye bye